Ever pictured yourself setting foot on Europa, Jupiter's icy moon? Imagine the exhilaration as your craft touches down on this alien landscape, a world of ice sculpted by cosmic forces. Your first steps would be a dance, a gentle ballet in the low gravity that's just 13% of what we're used to on Earth. It's a sensation that would take some getting used to, like learning to walk all over again. Now, look around. The stark beauty of Europa lies in its desolation. Its surface, a ballet of light and shadow, is devoid of the comforting rhythms of weather, wind, or changing sky colors. This is a world locked in a perpetual winter, its icy shell reflecting the distant sunlight in a spectral display of hues. Europa's thin atmosphere, virtually non-existent, offers no protection from the raw emptiness of space. The silence here is absolute, broken only by the occasional creak of shifting ice. And so our journey on this frosty alien world begins. Imagine your new homestead on this chilly celestial body. As we delve deeper into the living conditions on Jupiter's moon Europa, we'll need to prepare ourselves for some harsh realities. This icy moon is not for the faint-hearted. The average temperature at the equator is a brisk minus 260 degrees Fahrenheit, while near the poles, it plummets to a bone-chilling minus 370 degrees Fahrenheit. To put it into perspective, these temperatures are colder than anything we've ever experienced on Earth, colder than the coldest day in Antarctica. Surviving these extreme conditions would require advanced thermal technology. Our spacesuits and habitats would need to be equipped with sophisticated heating systems to keep us warm. And it's not just about keeping humans warm. Any equipment or machinery we bring with us would also need to withstand these freezing temperatures. Our new home wouldn't just be cold, though. We'd also have to contend with the occasional ice quake. These quakes might feel similar to an earthquake on Earth sending vibrations through the icy surface. Picture being in the middle of a frosty desert with the ground beneath your feet shuddering and shaking, but that's not all. We'd also need to watch out for giant plumes of water violently shooting out of the ice. These geysers could erupt without warning, creating a spectacle that's both beautiful and dangerous. Imagine a geyser in Yellowstone National Park, but on a much larger scale and instead of hot water, it's icy cold. Living on Europa would be a far cry from anything we've ever known. The challenges are many, and the conditions are extreme. But it's these very challenges that make the prospect of living on Europa so intriguing. It would push the boundaries of human ingenuity and resilience. It would test our ability to adapt and thrive in environments far removed from our comfort zones. Living on Europa would certainly put our survival skills to the ultimate test. What if you weren't alone on Europa? Imagine, beneath the icy crust that forms Europa's surface, there's an ocean stretching deeper and wider than anything we have on Earth. This isn't just a hypothetical scenario. Scientists believe this vast ocean to be real, and it could be teeming with life forms that we've yet to discover. Life, as we know it, requires water, and Europa has twice the volume of all of Earth's oceans combined. That's a lot of potential for life. Now let's take a step back and think about what this could mean. If we set up a research base on Europa, we could probe this hidden ocean, delve into its mysteries, and possibly uncover the secrets of alien life. The scientific advancements and knowledge we could gain from exploring this ocean are unprecedented. We could revolutionize our understanding of biology, geology, and the very nature of life itself. But what kind of life might we find? Could there be complex organisms swimming in the deep, dark waters? Or would it be something more akin to bacteria? simple organisms that can withstand the harsh conditions beneath the ice. These are questions that scientists are eager to answer. Nevertheless, any life we find, no matter how simple or complex, would be an extraordinary discovery. It would be a testament to the adaptability and resilience of life, and it could provide clues about how life began on Earth, or even what forms of life we might find on other planets. But it's not just about the potential for discovery, it's also about the potential for connection. Imagine being the first human to make contact with an alien life form. The sense of wonder, the thrill of discovery, the profound realization that we are not alone in the universe. It's a moment that would change everything. The secrets of Europa's oceans may hold the answers to one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone in the universe? What an incredible prospect it is to think that we might soon have an answer. Life on Europa wouldn't be without its perils. Imagine setting foot on the icy surface only to find that you're not just battling the freezing temperatures. You're also in a constant dance with radiation. 
Jupiter's powerful magnetic field showers the moon with high-energy particles. This intense radiation could wreak havoc on any unprotected human or electronic equipment. But the threats don't stop there. Europa's low gravity might be a boon for moonwalkers, but it also leaves the moon vulnerable to small meteors and space particles. These can strike the surface with surprising force, creating a potential hazard for anyone on the ground. And let's not forget about the ground itself. Europa's icy shell isn't static, it's subject to occasional ice quakes, somewhat like our Earth's earthquakes. These could catch you off guard, adding an extra layer of danger to an already challenging environment. Despite its challenges, Europa beckons us with its icy allure and the promise of discovery.